All right, we find another good spot to go ahead and set up a uh, kind of bear trap. This is going to be a submersion trap right here. We've got this log coming up underneath, and it's right up against my leg right here in the water. And we've got debris back over here with a log and a bunch of debris underwater right here too. So we're going to go ahead and uh, stick this one down. It's going to be completely submerged so nobody will see it. And uh, hopefully the critters don't see it either. So the idea for this is as they're swimming into their cubbies, they'll end up hitting these traps over here. And... Uh, Go ahead and stick this down a little bit better. Keep running into the opposite issues around here. Either it's real sandy or it's going to be real rocky, so always keep that in mind when you're doing your water sets. Now, another reason that we want to set up here, because we have this natural funnel going up, if you take a look around, you get a, a little cubby here, and you have a den up here, another den up there, there's a cubby set over here. Then you have another den back up over in this area down over here that's uh, covered up by the logs. So say whatever it was that was using this uh, den down over here uh, would actually come through this area where he could swim up underneath these logs and still use that. And it would be a natural barrier of defense for many predators or anything coming in here to get them. So this would be a good spot to go ahead and put a trap uh, just based on the uh, layout of the way this uh, landscape is for us. There's plenty of sign in here that there's, uh, there's been activity of fur bear, so we're definitely going to take advantage of it. And uh, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and put another trap back up over in here. But I think for now this is a good spot. Man, when you have submerged traps like this, it's really easy to lose them. So this is why it's real important to go ahead and use your GPS. You go ahead and put your trapper's journal in there. Uh, go ahead and mark a waypoint as far as where it is. Go ahead and put a note in there as far as what kind of vegetation you might have. You don't want to flag an area that's going to get attention from other people because you could end up having somebody come through and steal your, uh, your fur bear or they go ahead and come through and steal your trap from you too. Um, a couple of things also, you always want to remember safety. Where we're at, there's nobody around this area, so we're in a good spot. We don't have to worry about too many people walking back here with their pets. Uh, as you can see, I'm in waders. Uh, a couple of areas have been pretty chesty. Uh, so it hadn't been too bad, you know, for us. 